Today I'm making a quiche Lorraine. For the ingredients, you're going to need one pie shell, three eggs, eight slices of bacon cooked and diced, and reserve two tablespoons for the topping, one tablespoon of flour, one half teaspoon of salt, and a dash of nutmeg, one half pound Swiss cheese, and one and three fourths cup of milk. Start by baking the pie shell at 450 degrees for seven minutes. When that is complete, you can move on to the egg mixture. You're gonna combine the eggs, flour, salt, nutmeg, and milk together, and whisk vigorously. Today, I'm just using a store-bought pie crust, but I will link in the description a really cool article that talks about how to upgrade a normal store-bought pie crust to make it taste more homemade. This is my first time making a quiche and I have to say I think this recipe is really great for beginners or if you just want an easy quiche recipe and I'll share more on that in a minute. Before assembling, you're going to want to bake the pie crust at 450 degrees for seven minutes. To assemble the quiche, you're just going to layer the bacon, add in the cheese on top, and then finally put on the egg mixture. When that's complete, you bake at 325 for 35 to 40 minutes and then let it cool for 25 minutes before serving. The reason I think that this quiche recipe is great for beginners is because as you can see my egg mixture I wasn't able to tell was running over the pie crust. And when I make these videos I am testing these vintage recipes pretty much for the first time. And when I saw the egg mixture running all around the pie crust I surely thought this recipe was ruined that I was not going to have anything and it was just going to turn out poorly but I decided to just pour off the egg mixture to make sure that it wasn't like swimming in it and then I put it in the oven and just baked it for how the recipe required and I have to say I'm pretty shocked at the results it held together really well my pie crust wasn't too too soggy I think it definitely would have been flakier if that hadn't happened, but it still turned out really good and it came out of the pan really well. Um, the only thing with this recipe that I think I would change is the cheese. I'm okay with Swiss cheese, I think in a smaller quantity, but in this recipe where you're using a half pound of cheese in the quiche, you can really taste it. If you're not a Swiss cheese fan, you might want to substitute it with your favorite cheese. Um, my friends and family loved it and they all thought it was great so it's just up to you and your discretion of how you think about Swiss cheese. But I appreciate you guys watching this video and sticking around to see how it turned out. If you like this video go ahead and like it, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll see you back here next time at Vintage Cookery.